Hang in the street, gonna be a big man someday You got mud on your face, you big disgrace Ticking your kid all over the place Singing, we will, we will rock you Yeah, yes They're coming for you And you can fight it They glory, glory For Man United Here come the little devils Here come the little devils Hi, my name is Zach. Hi, my name is Charlie, and we, we are, are the Little, Little Devils. Devils. Join with the Manchester United women's team. Special. Stop adding. First question: How excited are you to lead the women's team out for our game v Everton on the 27th of March? I can't wait. A lot of the girls in the team are United fans, so it makes it even more special. I think it's called the Theatre of Dreams for a reason, and we're all really excited. You chose the right team, girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited, I mean, to play here. Um, we got the chance last season, but unfortunately, due to COVID, there wasn't any fans there. Um, so this year, we're so excited to be back and, and have all our fans there and hopefully put on a great performance. I think we've got the best fans in the league. They follow us up and down the country and they're loud and we hear them and they back us every week. So I think it's kind of like our duty to them to put on a great performance and, and make them have a special day here. How will you feel being a goalkeeper at the Stretford End? I think it will be an incredible feeling. So when I took a goal kick at the Stretford End the last time, again there was no fans, but I knew it was special, I could feel it. So this time I know I'm going to have all the Barmy Army, all the Reds fans behind me and I think it's going to be um, a big moment in, in my Manchester United career. It's going to feel really special. How proud will you feel as a manager to walk out on the day in our incredible stadium? I mean, it's are you talking to Katie there? Yeah, as a captain, you're, you're the manager. as a captain and as a manager. Um, as a as a manager, it's going to be unbelievable. We're going to treat it as a, a normal game on the playing start side, but. You know, there's no doubt, especially I know that you're a, a Manchester United fan, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful occasion um, and something that we'll treasure forever. But what's more important is our performance has to, to match the stadium. How will you prepare for playing at Old Trafford? Good question. I think we have to prepare as we always prepare. Um, it's a big game and we've got a massive end to the season. So I think obviously there'll be a few more uh, exciting players in and around the dressing room just to play here but yeah let's prepare the same as every game you know gentlemen to be a Manchester United player you've got to have a big mentality would you agree yeah. Yeah. and so these players are ready and we're ready to go what's your message to fans ahead of the game come and support you know come and show up let's fill this place let's make it a cauldron for Everton and us and let's make sure that we uh, we relive in our playing performances with that energy from our fans. So what I'd like is as many people as possible to turn up to this game and, and show your support for us and, and what we're trying to do on our, our journey. Tell us how your match day routine is. Oh, I have a, people would say I'm quite superstitious actually. I have, if we're playing in the morning or at the night, I'd have the same kind of meal before a game. Um, and the night before a game, I always have pasta. So then, do you like pasta or not? Oh yeah, yeah I love it. I love the Italian. I love it with bolognese. Match day routine. Uh, firstly I wake up, I say hello to my family and then we have a coffee right. and then we focus on the game. And then after that, if I'm lucky, we go and get a successful celebratory Wagamamas. Lovely! Yeah. Which three famous people you'd invite to dinner and why? A huge in inspiration in my life was Freddie Mercury. I don't know if you know that. Oh, I'll well, make a big nose. Staying in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. You your big disgrace. Ticking your kid all over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. Yeah, yeah. So Freddie Mercury would definitely be there for that reason. Um, and then if I can't have you two, I would like... Yeah, you can. No, you, you can. can. You so you two are there. <laughs> and we could do that with Freddie Mercury all the time. <laughs> Let's do that then.
If you hired us on your coaching team, what job would you give us? Well, and why? I, well, I'm just gonna. Uh, you no, know, you, you'd have to be manager, and 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 then you'd have to fight out for assistant manager. You, you, I'd just but step what aside. What manager? I'm Guys, I'm just gonna step aside. Well done, manager. Well done, assistant. <laughs> This game is called Picture Round and it's hosted by me, Charlie. Hosted only by you? Yeah. Wow. You've been... <laughs> very nice drawing. Very nice I do that. Fantastic, mate. I think that has got to be me, surely, because... It is you! Woo! Oh, good England flag as well. That is definitely me. That, that's got my legs written all over it. <laughs> They are Max. Katie yeah. Zellum. No, no chance. Your hair's way better on there than it is here. No <laughs> it chance. Neater than mine <laughs> right, they've got tattoos. Leah Galton. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh I Leah. know this one. Leah. Yeah, Leah Galton. You know her because of you know it because of the tattoos. That's amazing. Yes, drawing. and a roller and a roller skates. They look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, can you give me a clue? What position do they play? She plays defence. Defence? Yeah. Um, Maria? Oh, oh, she forgot her white shorts. <laughs> Millie. Oh, close. Alessia. Millie. Oh, oh okay. The they definitely the long legs. Definitely. That. That's got to be... Someone has massive eyelashes. That, if that's not Katie Zellum, then you've really missed a trick here. It's got to be Katie Zellum, surely. Ella Toon? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Ella Toon. Was it the eyelashes what? it was? Yeah. I would have put Katie Zellum. Katie Zellum's got the biggest lashes oh, ever. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, is that Batman? No, it's you. <laughs> oh, is it me? Oh, okay. Also Batman. That looks like me with a bun. Oh. Got a better, got a better, better smile. You won't like that darker. <laughs> <laughs> she pays good money for that. What teammate would you sing on stage with? Oh, Millie Turner. She's got a great voice. Which teammate <laughs> would you act in a movie with? Hmm, good question. Uh, maybe Vilda. I think Vilda could be a good actress. Okay. Which teammate would you do a comedian stand-up routine with? Mm, probably Ella Toon. I think we're a bit of a double act, so we'd put something together. Double act. <laughs> Which teammate would you take the final penalty in a shootout with? Oh, good question. I'd give that to Skipper. Wow. Katie Zellum. Let okay. her step up. Which teammate would deal with the best with an emergency? Oh, not many of them, to be fair. Um, maybe I'd need someone quite mature. Maybe Mary Earps, our goalkeeper. She's got her head screwed on. This is the final question because we might not have a bit of time. Which teammate would you share a wardrobe with? I would say me and Katie Zellum have similar style. Hmm. There's some girls in the change room that I definitely wouldn't want to share a wardrobe with. Who is it? <laughs> Jackie Gronin's one of them. I mean, she rocks it, but I wouldn't pull off some of the stuff she can. And Millie Turner's always in a tracksuit. She never gets out of anything other than a tracksuit. Really? Wow. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks, thanks you guys. Us. No worries. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank you. I've got to start a sentence of a song. And no, you, you don't have to start the sentence, you need yeah. to sing it to me. Well, yeah, I've got to start the right, sentence. Right, just to be clear. Sing it. I have to sing it and then you've got to finish it. Do you want to do it? I'm getting really loud. I'm sorry, but you are. Right. Are you ready? You don't seem like you're I'm ready. Really come on! <laughs> easy go, easy go, little I, little love. I, I, that was so good, can I just say. 10 out of 10. I don't actually know the next words, but I know the song. Was it? In... <laughs> you do it. <laughs> yeah, you, go on. Yeah, go on. 
There you go, there is you it... go. I told you. Go on. No, do you know? Oh, is it Queen, that yes. one? Yes. Bohemian Rhapsody. But that's Oh, right. Not, it wasn't. Do I not get a point for that? You just need to sing. I tried my best. You need to set, say, sing the next line and then you get a point. But then no, I don't know no, the next no, line. No, you get the point. Thank no, you. No, I can get the point. Come on, point. Charlie. Give me the point. Yeah. So tight. No. I work all night. I work all day and pay the bills I have to pay. That's too... Ain't it sad? Ain't it sad? Abba. Yeah. yeah. Right. You really helped me with that, Charlie, actually. <laughs> I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. <laughs> Honestly, I felt like I was front seat at your concert then. <laughs> I was so distracted. That's Michael Jackson, isn't it? Man yeah. in the mirror. Yeah. Finish the sentence. Um, I'm asking him to change his, his ways. ways. The message couldn't be any clearer. Yeah. Point for me. I would walk 500 miles well and I would walk 500 more. It's the feet of mine that would walk a thousand miles? 500 yeah. miles? Okay, anyway. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's Thanks. been a pleasure. And you.